Gabrielle Guarch is from Green Leaf Property Management. This is a property management company that specializes in working with people who own Airbnbs to help them manage them, uh, both in Miami and Colorado. Um, and he is a team that uh, really gives that white glove service to help people make the most uh, of renting their properties. Uh, Gabriel Guarch is uh, an incredibly talented marketer, and we're very excited to uh, share your presentation now. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Let me share my screen. Kind of a spoiler alert for my uh, presentation on saying what Ikigai is, but. I saw you reacting, and I wasn't sure why. <laughs> um all right here we go all right guys my name is gabriel Garch, like dan said i'm with greenleaf property management um my first slide was kind of a thank you to dan um you have an amazing ability of taking these incredibly complex topics and simplifying them dumbing them down for us to understand and that's absolutely priceless uh, like you were saying, in the House Committee the other day, you spoke about Yuki Guy. It's the first time I heard that word used. It's what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. And I think that encompasses you uh, tremendously, and especially what you do for BizHack. Um, and you also mentioned the, the public and private business partnership, and that's a win-win. So it's, you know, Eileen gets this money. She has something, you know, gives it to people like you that then give us this awesome class and teaches us. And it's kind of keeps it in the same circle. And then and it's that's a great thing, I think. So this is my AI assisted bio. Um, I always like to say that uh, Greenleaf Property Management deals with the tenants to the termites. And we do everything from sales and rental of your commercial or residential property to installing batteries in a viejito's uh, TV remote control. Uh, our service is provider of property maintenance, tenant relations, rent collection, um, leasing and contracts, and property safety. I like to say also that we're property management that cares. So we do a lot of things with disabilities and the low-income housing community. Um, this is kind of my pillars. So that's kind of what I wanted AI to, to generate for me and Dolly. Um, I wanted to make kind of a Instagram post um, using Dolly, of course, uh, kind of getting people to either message me or call me um, to kind of generate untapped income for their properties using Airbnb. Uh, how I built it, uh, just simply prompted, like well, we all learned, so I created a brochure for Greenleaf Property Management to manage our clients' properties, generating them income. Tenth one was on the left. I kept, I asked it for another one. It's on the right. Uh, temp three, I asked it to make me a poster. I wasn't really liking the brochure. Um, and it came out much better, but then I found the final attempt four. It's what I liked the most because I could populate it with whatever I needed um, in the text aspects. Um, just from there, I use Canva's Magic Erase to delete everything, all the text kind of wise. I then asked ChatGPT to kind of come up with things related to property management um, to add into the poster. Um, and on the right, I asked it to, to kind of give me an uh, Instagram motivated one. And you can see the hashtags on the bottom, use the emojis. And I thought that was kind of great. Um, then this is the result. I kind of just added those, that text from ChatGPT into the Canva, into the Canva, which is funny, into Canva, um, giving me this, this, this poster, which I'll definitely use for later marketing and, and Instagram posts and things like that. Time spent was about three hours, an hour in image generation, an, an hour, you know, kind of filtering and, and writing kind of my own text in collaboration with ChatGPT. And using doing the add-on Canva took about an hour. So without AI, it definitely would have taken nine hours or or even more. You know, uh, my biggest ahas from this class is definitely looking and sounding professional. ChatGPT is so great at doing that, as we all know. Um, using things like Grammarly and Canva makes you know our business look a thousand times better than it would, well, at least my business, than what it would look like you know um, without it. Uh, our coaches, Jordan, Yoel, Tamisha, uh, uh, taught us prompting in the breakout rooms, which was awesome. You know, it's kind of 
asking ChatGPT, you know, different questions and feeding it keywords to kind of get what you want out of it. And then speaking ads, I gave the expression, the, uh, the, the, um, I asked it to, to kind of uh, change my voice into, let's say the voice of Joe Rogan or, you know, whoever, a, a famous comedian, that uh, Burt Kreischer or something. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely, you know, what's next for my business. I'm definitely excited to use these tools and techniques that I learned here um, into my business. And then I would love to learn more about adcreative.ai. I think you all brought that up in one of our classes. I think it's a great tool. I'm just excited to 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 learn how to use it. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Hope to use each other's products and services in the future. And thank you, Dan. Wonderful job. So, Gabriel, uh, first of all, where in Colorado? So it's before I started Greenleaf Property Management, I worked uh, in in kind of for Vail Resorts. Just um, so it's uh, basically I spent most of my time in Breckenridge and in Vail. I would work in Bre in Vail. I lived in Breckenridge. Right. So right I now, um, I kind of own RV sites in Breckenridge called Tiger Run Resort, and I kind of rent those out uh, mostly. Okay. Uh, my mm -hmm. wife is from Denver, and we have uh, her family has a home in Blackhawk. So uh, oh, wow. we're not in Brackenridge uh, that often, but I will uh, be happy to stay in your one of your RVs next time I am. Uh, <laughs> I'll be in touch about that. Um, you, do you um, specialize, like how many Airbnbs do you manage in the Miami area? Hi, so it's it's been tough. I, I started Airbnb when Airbnb was new, was just coming out. And it's really the administrations and the associations of the building they didn't really kind of, they could they didn't know what it was, right? So there weren't any rules around how to regulate it. Now it's been a lot tougher. There, Miami Beach needs licensing. So right now it's about five, but before it was much more. And, and I've kind of gone down just to renting and leasing the normal way, like um, with the realtor or, you know, just a year at a time. But the most money was definitely made using Airbnb, kind of those weeks, three days rentals. Yeah. Um, no, I feel you. Uh, so if any of us ever had someone visiting who needed to rent, uh, do you do short-term rentals or is it all like more leases? Um, no, it could be short-term. It could okay. be short-term. I think so, in my building, so guys, I wanna, re yeah. reach, reach out to Gabriel if you ever have someone visiting and who needs to stay or if you have like a wedding party and whatever, and he'll hook you up, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Dan. Thank you so uh, much. This is a marketing course after all.